Hi everyone, I'm Lance Eaton and I will be the instructor to the course Introduction to GLBTQ Studies at North Shore Community College this spring 2014. So just to clarify what that acronym refers to, the GLBTQ uh, refers to gay, lesbian, bisexual, trans, queer, or question. Uh, these are the different identities as well as others that we'll be looking at within this course. So what is this course about? Uh, this course examines the historical, scientific, and cultural developments that have contributed to the formation of, of gay, bi lesbian, bisexual, trans, queer, and questioning identities and communities within contemporary politics, literature, and society. The course identifies major themes and trends among GLBTQ identities and offers opportunities for further individual exploration. Students will also consider issues and approaches of queer theory as an analytical tool to understand non-heterosexuality within a heterosexuality dominant society. So this is your basic intro to GLBTQ studies course and we're really just trying to get a large view picture of all the different dynamics that go into and have been within that dialogue within GLBTQ communities. So what are we going to read in this course? Well, we have a lot of good readings in this course. Some of them are very powerful. Uh, you know, others are really insightful. Uh, the first book we're looking at is Alison Bechtel's Fun Home, which is a graphic novel and absolutely wonderful read. Uh, we have Kate Bornstein's Gender Outlaw, which is a is a really interesting first-hand account and exploration through uh, gender and boundaries. We have Leslie Feinberg's Stone Butch Blues, which is a fantastic novel, uh, slightly or largely autobiographical novel that uh, explores, again, challenges around gender and sexuality. Uh, we have Stephen, Seed Stephen Seedman's the Social Construction of Sexuality, and this is going to be a, a really good strong book that gives us a lot of different ways of understanding uh, how culturally we deal with sex, sexuality, and gender. And then finally, Nikki Sullivan's An Introduction to Queer Theory, which really will very usefully pull all of these books together and give us a great frame and lens to analyze the world through. So what are some of the some of the assessments and activities we do within this course? Well, participation. This is a is always an important piece in courses like this. I don't want to be talking at my students. I want my students to have a stake in the course and to be really engaged in it, sharing their views and their thoughts and what they're making sense of. Uh, In-class writing assignments are a way in which students can talk about the writings uh, and the readings that we do within the course in a safe environment. Uh, we have a reflective essay, which a student will talk about how they've come to understand gender, sex, and sexuality through culture, history, all of those things. Uh, we have an academic article analysis where a student looks at a journal article. We have a film response. We watch a few different films in the course. The students will have a chance to respond and talk about how they make sense of that for that film, given everything else everything else we look at. Similarly, with the, the different books we read, students will have an opportunity to respond and write about kind of how that book challenged or enlightened them on different things. And then finally, a final project and, and or presentation in which the student will take some element of the course and really delve deeper into it and return or, or represent that information for students. Benefits of the course, there's a lot. Uh, we identify major events and movements within the GLBTQ history, use and explain terminology and theoretical approaches within GLBTQ studies, critically evaluate the challenges, debates, and concerns within GLBTQ studies, articulate the connection between the heteronormative culture and the non-heteronormative identities with regards to formation, negotiation, resistance, acknowledgement, and acceptance, and apply queer theory to analyze text and visual narratives. And there's also more. Students have the opportunity to be challenged intellectually in a safe environment. Uh, it's a big piece of any time I teach that this is an opportunity to really explore and challenge our thoughts, uh, but to do so in a way that is not punitive. Students also have the chance to improve your writing, speaking, and thinking skills, uh, and that those are skills that will extend well beyond this course. Students also have access to a lifelong learner who is both passionate about the subject matter and students learning. That would be me. And students also get the chance to be, be part of a rich learning environment that explores and discusses complex elements of GLBTQ studies. 
So that's a basic introduction to the course. If you are interested, please contact me. My, my email is up there on the screen. Uh, and if the course sounds interesting, by all means, please sign up. It's going to be taught this one, uh, this September, this spring, 2014, uh, on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So I hope to see you in class or I hope to hear from you. Thank you very much.